Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is JM and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Obviously, today's video is the beauty resolutions tag. This was originally created by Mel Thompson in 2020. I did it last year, completely forgot that I had done it. And then I saw Colin, who is Queer Bones on the YouTubes, did the video. And so I thought, I'm gonna do it again too. It's a fun video. It's just a chance for us to chat for a minute. And I'm wearing this makeup look, which will be up on Thursday. Um, but I, I wanted to film, I feel pretty good. I've been gone for a little bit. I got COVID, uh, I woke up with it Christmas morning. Had a pretty rough couple of days. Uh, really Christmas day was the worst. Um, and then it's been just like, an annoying head cold. I'm still a little bit nasally and not feeling 100%, but I'm well enough to film and get back to feeling a bit normal. Hopefully this will be a fun video and I would love to hear if you have any resolutions or, you know, thoughts or whatever. I don't, the resolutions thing is kind of odd, I think, because you just gotta do what you're gonna do. And a lot of people do the whole new year, new me. It's a new year, uh, but you're just getting regular old me because um, to be perfectly honest, I kind of like who I am. Like, you know, I, I wanna be a good person and I try every single day to be that. And I think that I'm succeeding. So let's get into the questions. There are only 10, so it shouldn't be a very long video. Um, Unless, of course, I just keep yammering and don't actually say anything. Okay. Question number one. Something you do regularly in your makeup routine that you will try to stop. Um... I'm not sure there's anything that I need to stop. I feel like, though I'm always changing up how I do my makeup or the products, the application, things like that, I'm pretty happy with the overall system I have. So I don't think there's anything I need to stop. Number two, a brand you will try for the first time in 2024. I actually did a whole video on that um, before Christmas, before I got sick. There are a few. One brand that I recently thought maybe I would like to try, uh, but didn't add it to the list in that video is Clarity Cosmetics. Uh, they popped up on my Instagram and I kind of did a little looking into them and it seems like it seems like something I might be interested in. So I think Clarity is going to make the list for 2024. Okay, question number three, a brand you will let go of in 2024. I don't think there's a brand that I need to let go of. I am fairly particular about what I purchase and how much I purchase and I'm, you know, pretty darn careful. Um, so I don't, I don't know. If I had to say off the top of my head, it would probably be Natasha Denona, simply because I purchased very little last year. Not a lot that she released uh, called to me. So if I had to pick one, maybe Natasha Denona, and that's just, you know, if she continues to release the kinds of things she's been releasing. If she gives us something new and fun and interesting, then, you know, she'll be back in. But for right now, we'll go with Natasha Denona. Number four, what makeup technique would you like to learn? I'm still working on the graphic liner. I attempted it last year. I play with graphic liner before I wash my makeup off at night just to sort of see if it's something I can actually get better at. Uh, so far I have not, 
but I'm not giving up because I think it's fun and interesting and I'm feeling like it's not the kind of thing you have to be amazing at because it is graphic liner that you can be just kind of like okay and it still looks okay. Does that make sense? So I'm going to keep trying to see if I can learn how to do a graphic liner. Number five, a product will you, you will leave in 2023. Okay, for reals, this is new. I just got it uh, sometime between my last video and this one. <laughs> it is the NYX Duck Plump Plumping Lip Gloss thing. I really, really like the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I like the kind of burn that it has. I like the effect it has on my lips. So I thought, oh, the NYX one could be a more affordable alternative. No, this stuff burns like it's supposed to, which I was fine with, but it also gets in my mouth and it's like pepper. Like really burny, yucky, not good, and doesn't give the same effect as like the Too Faced one. I actually wore them yesterday side by side to see if I could tell a difference because the first time I tried it, it was right after I started feeling slightly better. Uh, no, it's bad news bears. If you, even if you like the Too Faced lip injection, I don't think that this is a good at all. So that is not coming with me for the rest of the year. Absolutely not. Six, a product you will give a second chance to. Um, I don't know. I'll give a second chance to. I'm not sure there is one. I haven't tried anything recently that I don't really like except for the NYX and I did give it a second chance and it's still a hard no so <laughs> yeah I guess I don't really have anything. Number seven, a resolution for your YouTube channel. I don't necessarily have one because I started my channel the way I wanted it to be, using what I already have, getting some new stuff, uh, being honest. I think I would like to do better, you know, maybe create better thumbnails or um, create interesting videos, things like that. But overall, I'm very happy with the way I run my channel. Hopefully it doesn't sound conceited. Number eight, do you have any skincare resolutions? I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. I have an excellent skincare routine that my skin really, really likes. And so far, so good. Nothing has, you know, changed dramatically over the last couple of years. So. Just my resolution is to keep doing what I'm doing. Number nine, a YouTube beauty challenge you will partake in. I don't think there are any right now. At least I haven't heard of any. But if there is one and it seems fun, I would totally do it. In fact, I've thought about like, you know, the old YouTube videos where there were challenges and um, like putting on your makeup without a mirror or you know, just the silly things. I think I would definitely do that. And I may even try to figure out how to do it on my own without it actually being like a YouTube challenge because I just think it's fun. I like being able to just be silly and have fun and not take it too seriously all the time. Last but not least, number 10 is a beauty habit you need to stop this year. I don't think I have one. 
I think my beauty habits are pretty good. I'm good about keeping my brushes clean. I'm good about keeping my space clean. Um, I do need to work on feeling like I'm good enough, but I think that was my answer last year for something as well. But other than that, I think I'm doing pretty okay. You'll have to let me know what you think if you want to answer these questions in the comment section. That would be super fun. Uh, if there's something you think I got way wrong, I need to change, let me know. Because, you know, I don't know everything. But if you know something, maybe I need to know it too. Mmm, I need to stop getting lipstick on my teeth. How about that? All right. I'm going to stop yammering. I know this was kind of a quick one, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to chatting with you in the comment section. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.